Daniel. So maybe it got a little cool on me in the evening when Bob did that interview with Matt. We just needed that Gatorade shower, I guess. Let's talk about Matt Kenseth. When he came over to Joe Gibbs Racing, we all thought he would be doing that win early in the season. So, wow, they didn't waste any time. But seven victories and 2-0 and in the chase. Did anybody think they would be this hot? Probably not even Matt Kenseth because the thing that amazes me, we know he's always been a great restrictor plate racer. He's won the Daytona 500 twice. We know he's always been good at the mile and a half of two-mile tracks. But the way he's racing at tracks that he has not laid the numbers, if you look at Loud, New Hampshire alone, 27 previous starts there and only five top five finishes. He's never won there. It just seems like so many tracks that he, you never thought about Matt Kenseth, that he is running well and in some cases winning races, but he's very quick to give a lot of credit for his success at places like Loudon, like at Martinsville back in the spring, to his teammates Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin. Greg Biffle finishing third, jumps six spots in the standings. That's quite a move, 11th to 5th. What do you make of Biff's surge? Is he a, a true contender? Well, it's time to surge because that third place finish, that's his first.